I guess it's Friday now. We started, it was still Thursday. <laughs> uh, it's about 1.30 in the morning, I think. And uh, we're here picking these grapes at night with lights. And uh, our idea here is to get these grapes in as cool and fresh and crisp as possible. We're getting these grapes, they're getting picked at about 42 degrees, I think was the last time I looked at the thermometer. see these lights and it kind of looks like aliens or spaceships out there, you know, but it's actually people out there working in the field. Harvest is just like an adrenaline rush. I mean, uh, you, sometimes you just don't have time to think. It's a crazy time, but like I said, it's it's a lot of fun. This is where the wine is actually made. Every decision that you make is uh, is very important. Your crews are on call. You're on call. There's really no sleep. You're just you're just round the clock. Um, because the grapes aren't going to, you know, stop for anyone. Mother Nature's going to do her thing. And um, all we can do is hope to get the grapes in in the best quality we can. Once we get them inside the winery, it's, it's kind of a sigh of relief. Time is a very busy time. Well, usually we do not have tasting staff. Bob and I are control freaks. We like <laughs> <laughs> we like serving our guests ourselves. <laughs> September and October seem to be the busiest in the tasting room. We have a, a lot of uh, Eastern visitors. Uh, all this week I've had uh, three visitors from New York, two from New Jersey and one from North Carolina. So it seems like everyone's leaving the East Coast and coming West Young Man for the harvest. It's harvest time and here at the farmhouse we're constantly out in our garden picking and harvesting different fruits and vegetables. Um, this happens to be a barrage flower from a barrage plant. We use this both in our desserts and in our entrees as a garnish. Currently we have a gazpacho soup which features crab and this sets atop the crab as a garnish on the soup. Pretty much from about early July until about early November 100% of what we're serving we're buying here or growing here within Sonoma County. It is harvest here in wine country. We are uh, picking grapes, picking vegetables, picking apples, picking everything that grows here. Um, here at the farmhouse we have people coming from all over the place to check out what's going on. Um, it's really exciting at night to drive down the road. You can see um, them harvesting the grapes. You see the lights out in the vineyards at 1 in the morning. It looks like spaceships landing and uh, they're out getting the grapes at night when it's cool, which is, um, I don't think anyone really realizes that until they come out, and it's always surprising they're driving back from dinner at midnight and, and wondering what's going on out in the vineyards. You know, it's great to watch the, I get what's the proper term looking for, probably, I guess, yields of your work over the year, you know, that you and your crew have put in, and all the hard work, you know, and there it is now sitting in the back of these bins, you know, and it's going to go to process and, you know, it, it, it's a pretty exciting thing. 